I play way too aggressive and like end up killing myself in the process. So. Yeah, you really have to make sure you synchronize and watch your teammate a lot. Yeah, that's the other thing is I'm, I just, I, I have too much of a singles mindset when I play. So like, when I get into doubles, I usually like I usually don't perform as well as I should. So. No, I, yeah, I understand yeah. it. It happens to me sometimes too. It's like you focus on one player, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh wait, I have a teammate too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just like watching what both teammates for the other team are doing too. Like especially if you're trying to like do your own one-on-one -on -one throw combos and you're like, oh. oh, I just did a throw. Oh, now I'm dead because I just got charged up smash or something like that. Yeah, or or better yet, like yeah. you're doing your one-on-one -on -one combos and all of a sudden your teammate comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, more so that's me getting in the way at Sonic than um, Plague was as Greninja. So it was just, yeah, I'm going to learn. Closer. Right there. Is that good? Uh, All right. We in there? We good? All right, well, they're already not going. Oh, they are going to Smash World? Like they, uh, Triple R and Down for the Cause banded against us. So. All right, All right game, game one of Fuji Semis. Got the ones versus Triple Cats. Triple Cats. Which I, apparently there's a story behind that, don't know it, but. All right, so Kirby, Kirby everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like seeing it, like both these guys, both these teams play really well. Kings of the North, which had a lot of out of state recognition too. Mm -hmm. So like, and these guys team together. I mean, actually, Triple R has been teaming a lot with Scorpio lately, but like him down for the cause still have a lot of good chemistry from their days of teaming. So now we're just kind of slugging it out, seeing who. Can we get game audio in here? Oh yeah, never mind. Watching silence, okay. Okay, so down smash, everybody's flying. Yeah, still kind of a slugger right now. Okay, so I, just, I thought that. Oh, okay, Ooh, there we okay, go. Again. There's yep, there goes. Okay, Blue Team's been taking really good stage control. Dude, up here is just destroying everyone. Okay, we got off stage curry battle. Like, so, but, like, especially like, for Minnesota, you're not going to see these guys competing very often. Mm -hmm. Which are some guys, this usually be like a grand finals matchup or something like that. Right. But, like, uh, Spike City went in today, so they're waiting for some guys right now. Yeah, I saw them earlier. They were they were really going in. They were getting a lot of good reads, so that was helping them a lot. But, so, I mean, pretty even percent right now. Blue team's at low percent, but again, the beast kind of getting chewed up by combo food that is Ganon. But, once again, like, I. Th Red Team's just having a lot of trouble landing. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Uh, oh, there's that shit. Alright, so... Blue Team's got a bit of a lead here. Right, I'm just trying to think of what Red Team can do right now. They just seem, kind of seem to be like having trouble landing. Yeah, I think, stage control. I think they need to work on covering their, uh, their ground control. Yeah, I'm just trying to... I don't know, like, at this point, Gan's starting to get into rage, so Triple R needs to be careful. Because, mm -hmm. like, one get out of Smash is probably going to kill Kirby at this point. That's the problem, like, sure, Gan can, like, get his combo food, but at the same time, he can kill both Kirby and Fox really early. Wow. Like, like that, <laughs> just one backer. Just like that. Is he, he going to go for the Ganon side? I thought he might. Oh, oh no, he did nice. the up air. Yeah, like, you don't see a whole lot of Ganons use up air as well as Ganon the Beast does. Like, yeah, he uses that really efficiently. Especially in the air, that's like his main combo tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All oftentimes right. you, you see up air only with uh, like a down throw, but no. Uh, oh, he drives a swag on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, I mean at this point, Blue Team has it as long as they don't SD or team kill each other. I mean, it's doable for down for the cause, but at the same time, it's the Ganon brothers, so I can't see it. It, it could be, this would be a tough comeback. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Mm -hmm. Ganon had two stocks, too. All right, game one goes to the ones. Mm -hmm. Have they always used that as their team? Uh, I feel like that's recent, although... As soon as they got the ones, they're like, yeah, we're the ones. Yeah. Always. So I'm just trying to think of where, um, probably a bigger stage and yeah. more platforms. For triple cats, because like they seem to ha really struggle with landing. I feel like they'll probably, they probably want to go to battlefield, but at the same time, I know the Gambros really like it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um, with the additional platforms, yeah, that would definitely help the landing. Um, but like you said, I feel like yeah, the ones would definitely take advantage of that though. Yeah, and like I remember in my set against uh, Down for the Cause and Triple R at Kings of the North, um, we we went to battlefield and. Down for the cause was just juggling me endlessly. Mm. So, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, they went to Battlefield. We read those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. 
See if they can make the adjustments for this one. Hopefully the platforms will help them out. In game two. And I, I, thought, I thought he was actually going to spike there. Yeah, so both these guys, I feel like both these games are really familiar with, with how doubles work and like making sure they don't leave each other, except each other too open like for throw combos and that sort of thing. I feel like doubles takes a lot, like it comes with time, like it's not something you can necessarily like, practice on your own. Unless you like have a bunch of guys that like team together and you're like, hey, let's do doubles. Which I don't have, so like that would be nice. Alright, so no one's really taking the lead right now, it's pretty even. Yeah, it's still a select vest. And then speaking of slugfest, Gan the Beast smacks his brother. You don't see that very often with them when it comes to te like, team kills and that sort of thing. Yeah, they're really good at uh, uh, spacing each other out, so to speak. Mm -hmm. like, I think that's part of the appeal of like the Kirby gaming combo is Kirby's so small, so he kind of stays out of the yeah. way. Whoa! Ooh. I'm not really sure what happened there. Did, yeah, I did saw Fox again. Up smash him? I think it was Fox's up smash, and I saw again down B come out. Uh, All right, so oh, ooh, nice. See you, Fox. All right, so again, the Beast is probably gonna do his best to hold on to this and kind of dial it back a little bit. Except I'm pro uh, down for the cause. Probably gonna be looking for a dare and up smash combo right now. All right, um, but again, the Beast is doing a good job holding on to stock. He's, he's actually really good at doing that. Um, when I was playing a match against him earlier uh, on Battlefield, uh, he's really good at um, letting his brother. Uh, oh. Yeah. Letting his brother take the lead while he hangs back and just punishes any any mistakes like that right there. That yeah, grab. they're they're really a, a really well synchronized team. I wish I had the opportunity. Like, there, there's like people that I usually team with like. I think it's been like four or five straight tournaments have had a different partner every single time. So it's, it's just hard work building chemistry that way. Alright, so red team down to three stocks with blue sitting pretty at four. Oh! <laughs> that was worth. Yeah, that's the other thing about doubles is learning like, oh, I can do that now. Like, oh, my partner's being grabbed. Oh, I'll just ask smash. Yeah, that's what's really good to make Whoa. sure you. Ooh, oh, down there. There's the team kill. Yeah. Unfortunate. But yeah, as I was saying, like that's the thing about doubles. You really gotta make sure you uh, watch your teammate because oftentimes there's plenty of openings while uh, your teammate's working on one player and the other player's distracted. Yeah, especially like a lot of times there's like it's better off to just throw out your fastest throw just so that way you can get him out of the way and maybe set up your teammate. Alright, we have down by himself again. Yeah, so this is looking like it's gonna be a. Uh, Loser semis with the ones versus Dunk City, uh, Spike City with the rematch. And Let's Down for the Cause comes in and makes the comeback. I don't know. <laughs> I was expecting like the down throw and up air or whatever. Because they have a lot of team combos that they just seem to like always know what to do. No matter what situation you're in, you're always going to get yeah. smacked by Ganon. Or Kirby's back throw and Ganon's up smash. Mm. That one's disgusting. Oh, it's a back throw? Yeah, Kirby's back there just drop drop kicks him back. Uh -oh. and yeah, so he's gonna pl play the runaway game here. Uh, oh, oh okay. this spot dodge yeah. too early. Good games. All right, let's see Spike City. Yeah, but that that was a big upset though in, in winter semis. Mm. I don't think a lot of people expected Spike City to pull that out. Was it? A, it was a two.